All right. OK, so I'm super excited. I'm really sure that with deep learning and machine learning, we can actually completely disrupt all these traditional techniques uh, that have been invented over the last 40 years, B plus trees, whatever, all those things. We can do it way faster, way cheaper, way better in the next three, four years. OK, so excited about that. Uh, so that's DB SQL. But really, the underpinning of the lake house is Delta Lake and Unity Catalog. That's the foundation of the lake house. And both are really, really important. OK, so let's start with Delta Lake, which is an open source project that we actually open sourced here at this conference. I'm speaking faster, as you can tell. Uh, so Delta Lake is awesome. With this open source format that you just store on your lake, you get your data really, really cheap. You don't have to copy it. It just works. It's fast. It's reliable. It's actually the underpinning of all the stuff that Reynold talked about as well. Um, unfortunately, today, though, you have to pick between three formats. You have to pick whether you want to build your lake house with Delta or you want to build it with Apache Hootie or Iceberg. And depending on which one of these three you pick, you actually kind of lock yourself into one of these three. It's really unfortunate. It's kind of like you know, VHS versus Betamax. Okay? And once you pick one of those, only those ecosystems that you can see on the screen that are below each of these work just for that particular format that you picked. And since you're storing a lot of data on your lake, you're actually kind of in a difficult spot. So for instance, if you're using Star Rock's connector with Hoodie, that's great. But it won't work with Delta. It won't work with Iceberg. OK? So this is a big problem. And all of these three projects under the hood actually store lots of metadata. This metadata is very, very small, but it's extremely important. That's how they actually get all these guarantees, the transactionality and the speed and the optimizations and the upserts, inserts, deletes. Um, so they need that metadata, and it's different in each project. Each project is doing it completely differently in a different incompatible way. But actually, under the hood, it's all just Parquet. Okay? So it's all just gigantic amounts of data sitting in Parquet files, which is the same standard uh, that we all use. So we are super excited at Databricks uh, to announce Delta Lake 3.0. That's actually public preview today. And the reason we're really excited about it is that it actually, since it's just Parquet files, we just use Parquet in Delta. But what we've done is that we actually unified the format of the metadata of all three projects inside Delta. So we call this uniform, which is short for universal format. Uh, so whenever you write data to Delta, it just will generate metadata in all three formats, Hoodie, Iceberg, and Delta. Okay, what that means is that anyone who's accessing the connectors, the readers, the writers, the engines that are accessing the data that's in Delta, to them it looks like it's Iceberg or Hootie or Delta. So that way you can actually eliminate this friction, this format wars that some would like us to have. We can just eliminate that, and we can just really democratize access to data uh, in these lake houses. So we're really excited about this. We think this is a really big step forward, uh, and hopefully, yes. We're excited about this one. We think it's going to help the community and help everybody move forward towards these lake houses. And so everyone can just store their data and be able to do AI and all these things on it. OK. So that's Delta Lake. OK. But we also have Unity Catalog, which actually I think is more important than Delta, because Unity Catalog is how you do your governance, which means how you set up security policies, you track the lineage, and all these things. And that's actually even more important than just files, because you don't want to be working with files. You don't want to think of the lake house as files. That's the wrong level of abstraction. You don't want to do governance at that level. That would be not a lake house. That would be a data lake. Uh, so uh, I want to look into Unity Catalog a little bit more. And with that, I want to welcome to stage, again, Matei Zahari had to talk about uh, the whole thing that he built around Unity Catalog. So Matei, welcome. <laughs> 